Hello. So, I was debating whether or not to talk about this or not. Um, I guess I should. Uh, well, not should, but I kind of want to. Anyway, because it's fresh in my head. And I'm really bad about talking about stuff that's not fresh in my head. I.e. my study abroad experience series. Check it out. I talk about studying abroad, but this will be my Disney College Program series. So, I got accepted to the Disney College Program, Fall Advantage 2014, hello, yeah, I just said that, so, 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 um, I'll start from the beginning, and I'll try and make this really fast, because it's not, I mean, yeah, so, up until this point, and then, well, maybe I'll make a video on the rest, and I want to talk about maybe vlogging-ish there, so, um, I guess, well, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, oh my god, I need to go back and back and back, anyway, so, I'm an education major, decided I didn't want to teach, I don't want to go to grad school or anything like that. I want to, basically I landed on, when I really decided what I wanted to do with what with what my degree will be in, I landed on, I want to somehow combine my um, knowledge of education and then also marketing because, and uh, do something um, with that and combine that with marketing because I've worked for um, Coney Williamsburg Foundation in Williamsburg for three years, and essentially, I'm, I've been marketing their brand, even if it's through selling, doing what I did and selling ice cream to tourists. I'm marketing a whole brand to tourists by recommending things and stuff like that. So that's what I wanted to do, and so I, I, senior year, I have I've basically been looking for, you know, looking up, looking at big corporations and companies that, you know, have a kind of, um, kid twist to them, whether it's food or, um, entertainment or hospitality, something with a, that's geared towards kids. So I've been looking at companies, and I knew about the Disney College program from one of my coworkers. So, and I knew I was going to apply for that. So, you know, I'd applied. I had applied to like a bunch of big companies, like Crayola, and you know, uh, other random food, food uh, companies and stuff like that, and, and toy companies. I've been looking into. So. Yeah, and then the Disney College program opened up um, in, I think, mid-February. So I started the application, and then I came back to it uh, like a week or so later. But I finished it, and I turned in the application, and like maybe five minutes later, less than, I got an email saying, you qualify for the... Um, web-based interview um take that and so i was like oh that's cool and so i right away i was like all right i'll just do it so i took the web-based interview and it took like 15 20 minutes and it was a bunch of questions just about like you answered one through five on scale one through five and whatnot um and it was just simple questions about how you work, work ethic, if you work well with people and stuff like that. And then questions about living with other people and, and stuff like that. And it was pretty easy. I mean, I, I thought I answered decently, which apparently I did because once I turned that in, five minutes later, I got an email saying you qualify for the phone interview. So schedule a phone interview. So... I scheduled a phone interview, um, for, like, the next, the following week, um, yeah, and that's when I really was like, whoa, wow, 
And so I did a lot of research and stuff like that about more about the program, which you know, I wasn't like, too familiar with, but a little bit familiar, and about the phone interviews. And I, I had heard before I did all the research that you know, it's so competitive and, you know, like, it's just really hard and it's to get into and stuff like that. So I wasn't really expecting much out of it. And then I read more about the phone interviews, and I was like, because I was really nervous about that, and I read all over, like, on the blogs and stuff and forums how they're really nice. Um, the phone interviewers are usually really nice and, you know, calm you down and stuff, and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, maybe it probably won't be too, too bad. So, um, I had, oh, and they, there were, you know, there are questions, um, they're like questions that they ask all over the internet kind of like yahoo answers so if you're looking for that kind of stuff they are basically like on the internet most of them so um the next i had written down like a lot of stuff that i wanted to say just about job history and um you know why i wanted to do it and stuff like that so finally my phone interview came and she called about 10 minutes later than scheduled, which was fine. Um, just plan a lot of, plan, you know, solid hour, maybe hour and a half for it. Um, so she seemed nice, the phone interview lady. I mean, you know, nothing like too bad. And, um, oh, by the way, in the, act the application, the first part online, you pick the, areas you want to be a part of and I, my top ones were like hospitality and um vacation planner and maybe one like food or industry and then what uh attractions was kind of high up there yeah, but they're all like none of them are super like most of them are blue collar type things um not many like white collar suck such things what am I saying um concierge was I did that um that was up there so yeah so fun interview she was nice um I was nervous um I said um a lot I said um a lot and she just answered er, she just asked basic questions and then re just super basic questions if you want if you really want to know the questions just I promise you they are online like why you want to do it and then geared she geared them towards my what which of the jobs i wanted um that i put on the list as high um so she geared them towards that so i promise you most of them are online or you know the types of stuff they ask so go check them out um so yeah it took like maybe 15 minutes um, I kept saying, um, a lot, like I am now, horrible at that, so afterwards, I was like, I'm not getting this, I totally bombed it, not getting it, and then, like, a week and a half later, I was at home, spring break, I just got an email saying, congratulations, you got it, and I was, I was kind of shocked, and um, wow. So I got it to be a vacation planner. I just, I literally just thought about it in that past second. Maybe I should make a separate video on the pros and cons. That's more, because I'm graduating in May, and I feel like I'm in a little different boat than other people, than most of the, than the majority of the people doing it, because I feel like the majority of the people that do the program are not graduating they um are still in college so it'd, i think it'd be cool to make a pro and con pros and cons on that but anyway i got accepted to be a vacation planner which is kind of a fancy way of saying selling tickets in a booth but yeah i'm excited and it will be fun and yeah um it did take a lot of thinking though, and it's still, maybe it still hasn't completely sunk in yet, but yeah, I am excited. 
I'm very excited. I know it will be an amazing experience. So yeah, that's where I'm at now. I haven't gotten to any of the housing stuff. I probably should do something about that, but and look more into it. But that's the next part, and maybe I'll do a video on that after. So I'll keep you updated. Um, but maybe I should do a pros and cons of it when you're a graduating senior because like you said, already ten minutes long. So. I hope this helped. And, yeah, by the way, I feel like it's not as competitive as people make it out to be. Just TBH throwing it out there. I really don't think it's as competitive as you may think. So, if you're worried about it, go for it. Apply for it. You might probably, probably, maybe get in. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, but, yeah. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope this is helpful in some sort of way. Thank you for watching. Bye.